Okay, we'll do a sketchbook tour. So it's... Um, Where is this one? Singapore. Uh, uh, that's in, this is my recent one, so all of it is uh, Singapore. Mm. And uh, that's more of a diary, so it's more of a visual diary. Right. I don't do sort of like just a beautiful composition of one yeah. scene on the page. Yeah. Most of the time, I really like just jump in everything. Yeah. But you you're know? in a way designing uh, and yet not designing because it's a diary, uh, right? Yes, kind of. Yeah, it, it becomes a naturally flowing design. Yeah. So I, I, I like put in text where, mm. where there's like some space the, left. All the sticky stuff that yeah, you Yeah, like these are little artifacts. Yeah. I like buying this um, this stamp sheets like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, the just stamps. Like, um, Excellent. The old ones. I love it. it. It has a feel of something that you you find, you know, thousands of years from now. Yeah, like... <laughs> and someone like, oh, <laughs> Singapore, where is this place? Singapore. I know, right? You I know? think all the digital so cool. stuff will be gone and our sketchbooks will leave. For sure. Because yeah. when the hard disk That's is gone, mission. You have a paper that's still there, and you know these yeah. are paper that will last for a long time, right? Yeah, so <laughs> I, I do yeah. this like it's it's absolutely random. So I don't right. have a. Company. What triggers you to put all these random colors here? Oh, this ones I was trying. I was just trying the colors my friend had. So uh, uh, so experimenting swatch. Yeah. So right. every page grows absolutely organically. Right. It has the artifacts from everywhere I go. If I travel, there would be absolutely anything from pieces of newspaper right. to right. business cards, you know, and all this. I love it. I love it. So the it's like all depth. melts together. I like the fact that you have depths in it, you know. Mm. You put a lot of depth into your sketch. I do like contrast and perspective mm. and I'm certainly attracted to certain mm. things like um, but there's stories uh, like yeah. this one, you know, two cobblers, the old one and the young one, you know, the well-to-do one and the very I old see. one. It's like it shows the. Uh, I like it. I love it. Shows it shows yeah. the time, you know. You know, without you saying it, I wouldn't have no seen it, right? I wouldn't mm. see it. But you saying it, I know exactly what you're trying to do. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. it's there. It's obvious, but you know, it takes a. Uh, anyway, it, it does take some figure. explanation and a story yeah. behind. And but for me, yeah. it's that's my story of what I've seen. You know, yeah. there is yeah. uh, much more to that. Uh, there is a certain visual picture for people yeah. to look at and there is some underlying story for me yeah. and people who work yeah. with me on that, yeah. say, adventure, so... Um, yeah, so, I, yeah. Love, I love that too, yeah. So I have like, you know, uh, it's... Coffee, um, you're having coffee somewhere. Yeah, so I would start somewhere in the corner here and mm -hmm. then uh, I would add something here, you know, then add something here and I treat every... Um, like say if this all is empty I treat it as one empty page you yeah. know a, a yeah. irregular yeah. shape so I draw something in it so that's how I form the um, the sketchbook spreads uh, not not all of them complete so that's that's so not right. that's not the point really uh, it's leaving just, uh, white's okay so yeah, problem, right? yeah. so yeah so this one's also all mixed up mm. you know so, some of some of the things are drawn just because I was waiting for something and right. that's my that's what I'm doing now Tiny thumbnails, lovely. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Thank you for uh, doing this uh, interview. With, uh, you know, it's always fun to interview people uh, who are sketchers and get to know what you do and learn from you. you no. Know? People who are sketchers, but not sketchers. <laughs> well, you, you are more than a sketcher, so that's why it's interesting to interview you. So. Uh, maybe we start with an easy question, no? Um, uh, who are you? And uh, introduce yourself to uh, my YouTube channel. So, my name is Alina. I'm from Russia. I work as an interior designer full-time. I spent quite a lot of time doing workplaces and a few years ago I switched to hospitality. Right. So uh, hotels, uh, f and just... F&B, hotels, uh, right. everything. Yeah. Right, right. Um, so, that's quite fun. Do you work for yourself or do you work for... I, I work for a company, yeah. Ah, okay. Here in Singapore? Yes. Ah, okay. And how long have you been in Singapore? I've been here for, uh, what, six years now? That's a long time. Six years yeah. is a long time, no? I've been here 22 years, so... Yeah. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a I was time. coming here thinking, okay, a year or two. Right. And I go somewhere else, but right. no. <laughs> right. It grows. So, Sing Singapore is a good place to... Easy place to uh, grow on you, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, the yeah. time passes by so smoothly quick. Uh, yeah. here. And where were you before? Uh, I was in Moscow for a few years and I was in London before. So is Moscow home or are you um, from somewhere else in Russia? <laughs> yeah, Moscow is <laughs> not... Because it's a big place, no? Yes, Moscow is so. not home. Uh, my home is uh, about 300 kilometers east from Moscow. Okay. Yeah. Right. East, okay, so towards Asia. I spent right. about five or six years in St. Petersburg as well. 
Ah, okay. Oh, that. Those are places I want to go. I've never been to Russia, so I want to go. In the checklist, St. Petersburg, Moscow, for sure. Yeah, yeah it's worth it. Yeah, you yeah, can do yeah. both in one go. Yeah, it's probably those two are like one trip. Yeah, but cold, no? I Not in the summer, no? No. Ah, fair enough. No. Summer, yeah. You yeah. go summer, it's uh, pretty much like here, cool. maybe not so wet. <laughs> so what do you like about Singapore? Uh, I guess it's that's warm. Uh, it's warm. <laughs> it's, no tropi- it's tropical all the time, no? it's, it's always 33, yeah. 32, 30, you know. If it rains, maybe it drop down to 28. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's I it. mean, every day I wake up thinking, oh, so nice summer, yeah. you know. Like yeah, that yeah. summer feeling that you get only maybe a few yeah. months a year, three months a year yeah, uh, yeah. back home. Here is every day and I don't think I... Good. I, I got used to it. The only thing is that in Europe, summer means long day, right? But oh, yeah. <laughs> he, here, no, here it's the same, right? It's wet and not wet, but it's the same number of uh, daylight hours per day. So yeah. That, that, it, that is the difference between summer in Europe and here. No? True that, yeah. I, I, I quite miss going out after work when yeah. it's still light and mm-hmm. still get some sunlight. Right. Uh, here it's not happening, unfortunately. Yeah, no, it's, it's true, it's true. Yeah, I worked I, in Europe for... Uh, Oh, wow, so uh, I love the summer there because it's long, you know, you, you work earlier and then you finish earlier and then you have like three to nine where the sun is still up, right? And it's fantastic. I was in Madrid. So, okay. Yeah. So many no, years ago. So 20, win- 20 years ago. The winter wasn't too horrible for you. Uh, you know? I hate winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So back to the subject, right? So uh, uh, motivation, right? What motivates you to sketch, draw, paint, design, you know? Okay. For is it a tough question? I hope not. No, okay. no, no, it's not. Uh, it's just a very complex question, actually. Right. It is um, a psychological question, but because it has an intention, right? So yeah, I think for many of us, it's a way to switch off. Right. It's not so much uh, relating to the job. Uh, yeah. Although many people think that architects draw because yeah. they just that's what they do for a living. That's what yeah. they do outside of work, but. Um, I think it's it, it is a, it, it is very different mm. and uh, it's um, it's like a perfect meditation you know you get to really concentrate on a piece yeah. and uh, that perfect Turn focus off, okay. uh, yeah but, but wait you're not talking about drawing for work you're talking about drawing for yourself right yes 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 for work is completely different it's yeah. different process different subjects uh, sometimes even different media I use yeah. iPad for example right. lots right. uh, whether for myself I use my sketchbooks and it's right. more of a diary right so. So that's uh, the necessity of switching off yeah. a very busy brain, right? Uh, and that's the easiest way to right. switch off. It's easier than meditation, seriously. Well, it is meditation. <laughs> it is, but it's it is, yeah. easier than meditation. You're not staying here with yourself and your thoughts you have about something work to focus and problems, on, right? right? You yeah. focus on a particular thing. Yeah. And uh, another one is memories. Mm. I uh, realized that well. Especially in Singapore here, we used to travel a lot. There was a lot of things happening. Yeah. And, and you I realized all that the time. Actually, yeah. yeah. And, so, and the, for your memory here, there is no uh, timeline. Like in uh, in Europe, you go winter or summer. So yeah. your body remembers you were cold, it was winter, you were warm, yeah. it was summer. So yeah. it's easier to remember how much time has passed, how... Your clothes are different. And yeah, like wearing, what yeah. things happen. Yeah. You clothes kind of, are different. Yeah, you kind of... <laughs> Yeah. tie your memories to that but in Singapore it's all the same yeah. so the memories just get lost in a way you know there's yeah. too many of them the background is the yeah. same you know so for yeah. me drawing was recording my memories and actually remembering what I've been doing here which is a very interesting years. point because for us here we remember things by festivals mm-hmm. right so you celebrate Christmas Dipavali Diwali okay. And Chinese New Year, and that anchors the season of the year. All right. Right, but yeah. there's no change of weather. It, it's yeah. maybe more wet and less wet, but same thing, right? Hot. Yeah. <laughs> right. So for us, even celebrations that tie to weather, you know, right. like Christmas right. comes in the winter, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I understand. I, I think that is just such a important. You know, you make it as a diary. You anchor your memory on you know time when you sketch, right? Yeah. So you talk about the motivation of switching off and just chill. And then memory. What else? Is there anything else that, like, triggers you to to sketch more and to want to take up your brush? Yeah, I, I feel like, um, you know, when I moved to London to study, I hated the city. Oh, really? I absolutely hated the city. Right. I moved there uh, from Saint Petersburg. It right. was wide. It was breezy. There was a lot of air. There were yeah. 
white pavements, you know. London is, uh, it, London is just like so small yeah. and well, Always it's less cast. west. But it's oh, really? it's less west, west than uh, San, San Petersburg for sure. Oh really? It's much okay, less. I didn't know. Okay. And much more sunny, <laughs> but it was cramped. It was dirty, you know. Mm. Uh, and uh, I was so upset that right. I, I really hated it. And drawing, in a way, helped me to fall in love with it. Because uh, you, 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 see you, you look it. for things that you find beautiful, even yeah, if yeah, like yeah. it's a composition of, I don't know, trash beans, but you found something nice in there, that's why you draw There's it. There's aesthetics and in all things. Yeah, you, yeah you, and you find meaning in drawing yeah, that, yeah. you know, and that brings another layer to the place you live in. Uh, so I feel like that makes me look much more carefully around me. Any specific sketch do you remember f vividly or fondly of uh, London? I wonder. Oh. Is there a place that you were favorite? How long were you there? I was there for just a year. Okay, short. Not, yeah, not very short. Long. I, it was on the beginning of me sketching, so uh, okay. I only remember the sketches. Because oh, was they, it urban sketching or just horrible. paint sketching? <laughs> we all started with the beginner's level, right? Yes. Regardless, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was urban sketching, yeah. Uh, okay. Because I spent time learning English, uh, le learning how to read English by uh, reading Urban Sketchers blog. So that's how I got hooked on sketching. I see. So I thought, well, that's I could try as well. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I was doing. That takes a, a, us to a, maybe the discussion on uh, your tribe. Like, who do you sketch with then in London here? I know you're part of the Urban Sketcher. I, I've seen mm -hmm. you a few times before COVID, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, do you have like a tribe or a bunch of people that you sketch with online, offline, real time? Mm, not so much. For me, sketching is more of a solitary activity mm. most of mm. the time. Mm. I wish I was different sometimes a little bit. Uh, yeah. I, it, or mix it. I know you mix it, huh? Sometimes solitary, sometimes with small group. Sometimes I go with a group, yeah, when, uh, when I actually remember to check the schedules and arrangements, you know. <laughs> There's so much happening, I can tell you that right now, it's uh, just boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, oh, I used to join maybe soon. like every maybe four times a year. I would join. No, I did. I did go to the big ones sometimes, like Hanoi, yeah, yeah. you know, and uh, the Asian Yeah, yeah. Because I, I actually wanted to see the city. Yeah, the so people were there, so I wasn't alone. Around. You know, so yeah. that was a bit different. So abroad, I would sketch with a group mm. uh, very often, um, but in Singapore, and if I travel alone, I sketch alone. Of course, yeah. Okay, so that's on membership now. Can we see your uh, material, like your sketch uh, material, your pen, your pencil, your pen? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe you want to fish it out and then we can just kind of okay. flash it to the... Okay, so I have... Um, I tried many sketchbooks. Ah, okay. There's just some of them here. You see okay. they're all very different. Some of yeah. uh, one of them handmade, some of them I wouldn't even recommend. <laughs> Even this, right. even though the sketches there were quite nice, that's what, my handmade this, book or these are. Uh, this is my current one. That's mm -hmm. Koval. Uh, Tom Koval. Koval is from Poland. He handmade. does, yeah, he does amazing sketchbooks with um, all the famous papers that artists like. Right. Uh, uh, what this did, one is did, Fabriano Artistico. Okay. okay. Three hundred gram. He also works with Arches cold, a lot cold and press. Uh, cold press. Yeah. He he does uh, he uses all kind of paper like for okay. every taste he does different right. formats and that's like this the best sketchbook I found so far. Okay. Uh, because you can actually choose the paper you like you know and and you make it. Um, he has a, such a good variety of it that there is always a choice for anyone. and the color of the cover <laughs> and everything else you picked or no no I haven't he actually ah, sent okay. me like random colors. Um, <laughs> See. When but it's handmade, right? It's handmade, so it's yes, a... yeah. It's it's an amazing sketchbook. I have already a whole stack of them, and if he weren't kindly sending me sometimes uh, one, okay. I would be buying it for sure. Okay. Because uh, for me, it's whether I buy it from him or I go to SPD and uh, bring my own paper, and they, and make, they make it for me. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they also kind of know what I like already, yeah. and I've done a lot of. Uh, sketchbooks with them. Ah, so. nice. And the size you want and all that. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, the and size you can also is, put your name and... Yeah, else. exactly. I would usually have like my name and say travel sketchbook when I was traveling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like all pretentious, okay. you know, the golden embossing and all. Okay, yeah. Very good. Very nice. Um, any other sketchbook that you like besides handmade ones? Do you um, like any like uh, any of the off the shelf? If not, it's fine. Not we'll really, no. Okay, that's no, fine. Yeah. Okay, show us your paint box, uh, your colors. 
Okay, uh, I I do have the, the like the bigger ones yeah, and yeah. that for I painting. use in the studio if I need yeah. to do a commission, for example, or something that I really do now. But that's my. This is uh, small. This, this uh, is a small. Twenty-four uh, colors, maybe eighteen. No, twenty-four. This is twenty. Twenty-four. Yeah. I'm so bad at math. <laughs> I'm an architect. Six by four. Twenty-four. Yeah, Thirty-four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, plus a few ah, more. Plus a few more here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So that's a Rembrandt box. Rembrandt. Are they all Rembrandt? No, no, no. Mixed. None of them are Rembrandt, actually. It's just a box. <laughs> so okay. Rembrandt sells these boxes that yeah. uh, I absolutely love. Um, yeah. And they don't leak out, you know, when okay. the watercolor elements melt in the heat and, and all. And, and then I buy the... Um, the separate, individual plant? Individual pan? Pan, do you squeeze like them in? Like half pans. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and I squeeze, uh, squeeze in. These are so, mostly yeah. Daniel Smith with maybe like one... Yeah, one Windsor Newton, like the turquoise color. So mostly DS. Okay. Yeah, 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 mostly see. DS. I, I got a little bit of a mix, uh, but yeah, um, yeah mostly very good, DS. Very good. I like DS colors, you know. Yeah. Uh, they're predictable and they're very light fast, so I... Uh, not I, all, but 90%, 90 not, percent. Not all, yeah. You, but, because uh, they still sell some, they're trying to discontinue it, but artists want some, so they continue to sell it, right? Yeah, yeah. Some uh, of them they just the look nice when, per, when you paint. <laughs> yeah, like permanent alizarin, yeah. right? They still sell it up to like a couple years back. I think they stop now. Okay. Because the artist wants it. Mm. So, anyway. I'm not very particular about my colors, to mm. be honest. Mm. Like, mm. I just get used to them. Uh, I don't even know the names most of the time. Oh, but do you, like, have a specific arrangement for your colors? Like, how do you arrange it, or...? Uh, I just uh, arrange... I, I don't know. By it's hue, just from, by like... Colors? Yeah, by hue. By hue, but, uh, yeah. You see, it's like, sometimes I just change one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I just see I don't use one and I replace it. it with something new. Okay. And it sticks, you know, so... And this you like it and you stick. Yeah, yeah. Some of them, like, okay. you, can yeah. see, you can see they're barely used, uh, but... Um, yeah, you, you will know after a while which one is your yeah. favorite. And then some of them I just squeeze in here and... Okay. And do you normally sketch with pen or pencil or what do you normally sketch with? I, I rarely use a pencil for sketching. I feel like the pen does the same job. You know, so, especially yeah. if you're in a rush or if you travel or you want to do it quickly, quick it's just like quick lines and wash. Right, so that's what I do. Um, uh, pen and wash is your sort yeah. of go to yeah. technique, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So that's your material. Um, tell us about like, do you, how what is your practice? You know, like, uh, how do you develop the art muscle? <laughs> what oh. is your calendar? What's your like, is there like a travel every year, three times a year that well, used to, right? Mm. Before COVID, like what do you do? Yeah. It's a, it's so. fairly ad hoc. Mm. I would draw a lot. I used to go for every, every day? business trips. Right. No, not every day. Okay. Uh, I think drawing every day is that kind of mythic pressure that the artist mm. created. Not, you know, not it's necessary. like a, it's a legend, but uh, it's not realistic at all. Yeah. Especially for people who work full time, who are not artists. Even the people who are artists, sometimes some days they. There are, they have days that they do admin work. Like, yeah, you need a break, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you need a break. From anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I no drawing every day. Uh, that only happened if I traveled. Yeah. So if I traveled, I draw a lot. So sometimes during a tri a, a week trip, I would finish the entire sketchbook like that. One trip. Uh, yeah, one trip. Uh, uh, a, a week, maybe. A week, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's about. The fastest I, I drew that was a dedicated sketch trip, and I ran out of two sketchbooks. <laughs> I understand that. No, so that's why I mean, for me, I carry extra sketchbook, but I often come back with empty ones, right? So yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can. It's very I did hard carry to, extra sketchbook. It was not yeah, enough. <laughs> it's always very hard to judge how many you need, and then when you go to a place that may not necessarily sell good sketchbook. Yeah. Then you end up with insufficient. Anyway, so I carry yeah, lots of uh, loose sheets as well. Mm. Uh, That's actually a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, but then loose sheet has this problem. It goes all everywhere, and then you gotta file it. And, yeah, true. Uh, that. Yeah. So, um, so like in Singapore now, do you sketch every day? No, right. So you sketch every week. No, perhaps, I, I do. I do try to sketch every week, and I out uh, at home studio. Uh, I would say both. Both. Yeah. Some uh, sometimes out, sometimes in based on what I've just seen right. so I don't forget it, you know. Right, right. I try to just keep myself in shape there. What what are your favorite subjects? Architecture? Not necessarily I've seen uh, I've, drawn, I've drawn I've drawn a lot of architecture of course, but uh, recently uh, I think that's the uh, the past two years I've been paying more attention to greenery and the plants. Uh, oh okay. Trees. Yeah. 
and the plant trees, it. Yeah. Flowers. I, yeah, yeah. Suddenly realized that uh, that's what's mm. special about this area, that yeah. the jungle, the amazing plant life, you know, the, yeah. bir- the birds you see and yeah. all that. And we that's do have something quite a bit, that, yeah. yeah, and that, that's something you don't have in Europe, you know. Architecture, the shop houses is all fun, mm-hmm. but that's as long as you can draw them, right? Yeah. They're fine. <laughs> They're yeah, always yeah. fun to draw, but they yeah. can be better. I got sick and tired of shop friends, so... I, I, it doesn't, I, I still do it, it sometimes. It's still yeah. fun, but some some uh, really attractive because you see the colors or you see the design mm. and something that attracts you, right? But by and large, after a while, although they are very interesting, but mm. <laughs> it's like a repeat, right? Yeah. So yeah, uh, you repeat uh, it's, too many it's times. fun to draw. It looks good. People like how it looks, but it's not challenging yeah. when you do enough of them, yeah, and yeah. it, it yeah. gets boring because they build the same way, yeah. which is different colors. You yeah. Know? yeah. No, so, I understand. Uh, and the plants, um, I find that having a challenge in what I do is a bit more fun for me at the moment and even though people don't like it as much I, I... yeah no that's the choice <laughs> yeah okay so the next one is uh, you know everybody's still always working on something right so the question is that what are the things that you maybe want, are still trying to improve or uh, working on uh, development right development I think I'm trying to improve on not putting too much pressure on me as an artist right so, so that was a big challenge because uh, pre-pandemic I, I i led a very busy life i i was teaching i try i did sketch yeah. trips I, uh, plus i worked full-time right mm-hmm. and then my sketching life was pretty much a full-time work on its own yeah. as well and on top of it all, um, working like- it was unnecessarily busy and i i'm I trying to understand why I did that, what brought me there, what are my purposes when I when I draw, you know, yeah. and uh, that helps me to understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing that, you know, so yeah. I stopped I stop taking commissions for a while, for, for example, because yeah. I have a job, you know, mm. <laughs> like yeah. I actually so, don't need it, and yeah. I have so many plans to draw something for myself yeah. like uh, I don't just draw in sketchbooks uh, this are just diaries right yeah. I, I want to yeah. do something else I want to experiment with medium that I uh, might not have done so far yeah. you know um, yeah. I don't even want to show it on Instagram sometimes yeah. well, you know just, just, just for what are the medium you're exploring maybe uh, are you doing something else like oil acrylic I've done uh, I've done a few murals that yeah. was fun yeah and I'm trying to explore uh, gold leaf Ah, okay. A little bit, yeah. so and some That's an interesting tradi- medium, traditional yeah. media like liner cut, you know. I've, right. I've done a little bit of that. So, right. So print. Yeah, I've done some Chinese painting as well. That was fun. Yeah. I think it helps with painting the uh, nature mm. at the moment as well. So it yeah. just helps it's to a develop. Philosophy a, yeah. Chinese yeah. It helps to develop a different perspective on what you do as a sketcher, you know, and it melts into your technique in a different yeah. way, unique way. Yeah. What you say is very interesting because I don't do commission. Huh? I it's I noticed a, that actually. I yeah. don't like I have requests. People mm-hmm. drop me a note and I know I just don't do it. I, I used to do it and it was just too stressful. And I'm like, uh, yes, I agree. With and it's like you know I can't tell you what I'm gonna paint if I paint it and then you don't like it. Doesn't mean that you know you uh, you're not happy or you know. <laughs> so I tell you what this is my stuff, you like it, you buy it, if not, yeah, forget yeah. it. <laughs> so I switched to that you know, as well, because it. it's it's enough to have like one fussy client yeah. who spoils the entitlement for you yeah. and uh, the drive and everything, yeah. who says, oh, that's not actually what I thought. So. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I mean, it's like, <laughs> if I, yeah, anyway. So yeah. so as a principle, I don't do it. Yeah. I think yeah. it's, it's, it's you know, you can turn it on and off. It doesn't always have to be going after commission. But, you know, some artists struggles a bit, so they have no choice, but they have to take it. But then they end up with, Five revision, right? Oh, mm-hmm. oh yeah, it's a, it's Just it's very it. hard to put boundaries. If you are able to do that, if you are able to tell the client, the client say, yeah, uh, you buying whatever I draw, <laughs> then, then you you welcome. Then it's right? okay, right? That's what I do. Like if uh, if I like the place they want me to draw, uh, yeah. I go there, I draw it the way I see it, I yeah. want it, they get it, no complaints, yeah. no revision. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. so as soon as you agree on it, front. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, very good. Yeah. yeah. No, no, thanks for that. Uh, I, and I like the philosophy of you can turn on and off when you're more stressed, you just, you know, yeah. turn off, right? Yeah. Um, perfect so far. I, I'm just going to ask one, two more questions. Okay. If you have a chance of writing a little postcard and we can send it back in time to your younger self when you start, mm-hmm. what advice would you give yourself? As a sketcher? As or... a sketcher. As a sketcher. More okay. of a sketcher, yeah. It can mm-hmm. be anything. It can be philosophy, it can be, you know, advice on technique, it could be anything. 
I think I would say that I've done everything the way I would have done everything I've done already. I yeah. Think. But uh, maybe um, to learn so to socialize more as an artist. Yeah. Because Network. I found that my breakthroughs yeah. were always tied to someone showing me something outside my box, you know. Mm. Uh, so if I were better at that, I'm not, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, yeah just be a bit more connected. Right? Yes. Yeah, so and maybe like, look uh, over the shoulder of someone who's sketching. Yeah, and, and right? not to be too shy to do, join. Right? Yeah, and not yeah. to be too shy to join groups and mm. learn from there, and you know, yeah. and, and just communicate and see other people work directly, not just on the internet. Yeah. Uh, that what uh, probably would have made me a better artist. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, you have any advice for my YouTube channel? Any or most of them are beginners. So okay. well, a lot of them are beginners. So what would you tell them? Like you know, when they are starting to learn how to sketch, advice for them maybe. Um, I think the mo the most helpful thing for me when I started was someone asking why are you drawing. Hmm. So once you know why you're drawing. Uh, it's much easier to determine the boundaries, they uh, understand what you're doing, uh, you know, to ignore people who a few weeks in say, oh, you need to sell that, you know, uh, it's, it's, yeah. and, and just filter, not, filter not, these yeah. people, filter their opinions, not ask people who you don't, whose opinion you don't respect for advice, you yeah. know, like don't yeah. ask everyone for advice, go directly to a person you respect and ask for that advice and for review, they will be yeah. much better with that than random people on Instagram saying, oh, I don't like it, you know, like, okay, you don't have to. You yeah, know. you don't like my you're, style. You're not a hundred bucks for everyone to like it, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really like that because a lot of uh, people when they're starting, they are always very worried, fear, and they are scared that yeah. if anybody says something, their whole world will crumble, right? But no, <sighs> it won't. I mean, ignore them, right? People, uh, not everybody will like what, what you do, ever. Yeah. I think I actually find it worrying when a lot of people like what you do. Mm -hmm. It means you're doing something very common. Oh, yeah, populist, not populist. Not, yeah, exactly. not pushing the boundary, not so, edgy enough. E e exactly. Like yeah. if you find yourself, you'll find your audience. Uh, if you just fully enjoy what you're doing, that's what I was doing. Yeah, I wasn't caring about uh, who follows me. I I never tolerated criticism in my Instagram. Delete. Uh, <laughs> it's just like I discouraged it. Uh, it might not. It it might sound wrong for many people but yeah. i discouraged it for like opinions of random people do not matter yeah. um so i and i just did whatever i wanted and right now if i want to do something that people who follow me don't like that that's it that's okay yeah. i mean i, I will that's still do fun. what i like <laughs> no no it's that's, a good that's the most important yeah. for artists is just do what's yeah. What they want. But having said that, I must say that um, the social media is not as evil or negative as I thought it would be. Mm. I have had so much encouragement from random people as well. So that there's is. also that, yeah. that balance. That depends you know? on the community you built around. Yeah. So I think if you yeah. encourage the negativity in your mm. personal space, it will build up. Yeah. It will attract yeah. likewise people. Yeah. Uh, whether you build supportive community around yeah. you, like I, I'm very lucky to have that community yeah. who supports yeah. me, who asks for me when I disappear, yeah. who asks okay? me like, are you right? <laughs> you know, yeah. are you upset? Perfect. You sound upset. You yeah. know, <laughs> uh, like, no, no, that's uh, perfect. That's yeah. what that's what every artist needs: the encouragement. They don't need critique. You know, yeah. Yeah. everybody knows what they do wrong. Yeah. You know, for sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, it was a uh, your know, any last thoughts maybe or um, anything that you wanna tell the world. <laughs> well, my my community is very small, so it's not in the world yet. <laughs> your community is big enough. Uh, uh, yeah. No, just go for it. Don't look at anyone. Nike, just do just what do you it. like. Uh, any age, it doesn't matter. Right. Uh, I don't have an art education either, so uh, it doesn't matter. Thank do what you, you like. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. My my friend does these sketchbooks for her trips yep. so uh she Ooh, what she, she makes it's it like herself a... it's a people it's, a, it's paper from nepal, nepal. Hand, is it it's cotton, handmade no? handmade paper of some right. kind so uh not all wow. of it like that you could but, put, uh, you could put very nice watercolor on it oh, but no 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 that's the, that's watercolor, watercolor right. yeah so she would she would do the sketchbooks with beautiful leather you know and right. um, hand bound yeah hand bound and 
for the trips. And nicely and, torn with yeah. rough edges. Yes, yes. Amazing. So that's my. It 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 creates some quality. Um, yeah, you can get to the that. So that's like machine made book. Yeah, mm. so that's like my favorite uh, travel sketchbook when this, the trip was absolutely dedicated to drawing, yeah. where we could stick for a long time, sit down, you know, yeah. try different foods and go to places, you know. Mm. So like including that, like you would go to, yeah, you would, I, I would go to post offices and ask for the current stamps yeah. because they will be history, you know, 20 yeah. years from now, they will be history. Yeah. Or some shops where there are old stamps and yep. all that. So, um, some stories like these boys were singing. Yeah. There was, uh, I think it was actually Diwali celebration. Oh, it was two it years was ago. This four years ago Fourteen. or something. Yeah. So they were, but they were f playing something. They were singing some popular song, but they used and it you for put Diwali. It down? I, I put it down. Yeah, I, I had a violin with me, so I I found that song actually. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. So. It's like there is a lot of memories in just like one oh, sketchbook. Yeah. Like uh, the the guy just came came over and grabbed my hands and say talk talking to me, you know, saying something oh. to me uh, and smiling from ear to ear. You know, he was like nice. Those memories don't go away ever. Yeah, when you have a sketchbook to go with it. I know, Perfect. like uh, the, the 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 plans from Himalayas. I mean, yeah, I twenty years from now, I go back to Europe. You know, and uh, I'll yeah. be amazed at what I've done when I was young. For sure. <laughs> So that's, that was my. Uh, that's really good. I, I like the way you use the contrast and the mm. perspective and the windows, right, to see through the depth, yeah. creating uh, depth in the process. And this sketchbook was one of the sketchbooks. Uh, it was one of the times of my one of my breakthroughs. Mm. When that person with whom I uh, I, I went uh, showed me how to be bolder with watercolor. So, and not like a yeah. tree like oil right? <laughs> uh, and money <laughs> and money of course whatever's <laughs> left I, like, love, right, that's it, that's no, my, I uh, love collecting like uh, small uh, small change. nominal yeah the spare yeah, change yeah, yeah. because it's also history you know it's um, it's gonna be outdated someday and rare and all yeah. that and I like collecting all these things you know the tickets to places excellent love so, it I really love love it yeah um, any more? Uh, last one? last one okay okay Maybe some of it. Yeah, some of it. That one was with the same person, uh, actually. They organize amazing trips. And I really like Bali. going with them. Yeah, that one was in Bali. Ah, the quality of line has also uh, changed. Yeah, you mm. see, like, the, it's uh, maybe a year or two difference, um, mm. two years difference. Uh, and the paper is different as mm. well. The paper was horrible, actually. <laughs> what paper I mean, is this? It's uh, cotton, huh? I don't know. It wasn't even cotton. It was some kind of thick, paper but cow. it was not watercolor. Oh, it's not. Okay. No. It was. It so was it doesn't really take fun. it really nicely. No, it was. Uh, it was infuriating. But uh, hey, I managed uh, yeah, yeah. make it work. Sometimes you just gotta deal with it. Yeah, I hate those uh, sketchbook that cotton ball. You know, when you have too much water, it just yeah. gives you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, this one fell apart in the end. Mm. You see, it's like torn. You know, and so yeah, I hate yeah. when they do that. Yeah, you spend so much time on it. You really don't want a quality yeah. of uh, your sketchbook. Go yeah, down, yeah, right? exactly. Like the the goose who like to yeah. who chase tourists because he likes oh, really? to be cuddled. Oh really? <laughs> Not because they want to pack you, but no, he w because tourists were running away from him, of course, because they used to yeah, them yeah, being yeah. aggressive. But he wanted to be cuddled. <laughs> Uh, so you know these stories. You open up and there is a whole world you yeah. start remembering. You know yeah. and that it's you're different not when you flip through your phone's photo because you don't remember Always. half of it. Yeah. But here, you remember every single thing that happened because you spend time looking at the world. Yeah, exactly. And I, I like uh, adding photos to it because nobody has um, hard copy photos of themselves yeah. anymore. You know, like our grandchildren will not have any. No. Because I don't forget. believe that our electronic photos will survive so long. Hmm. I, I don't think I have many left. You have to uh, be very conscious to preserve it if you want to maintain it, otherwise it'll be gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's very hard, especially now when we travel so much, we moved. Uh, I mean, I lived in so many places. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, so, no? Yeah. Love it, love like it. this place closed already, you know, that was my yeah. favorite um, creperie. Creperie. French will kill me for it's the pronunciation. The crepes, <laughs> yeah. And I know this yeah, one, huh? I, I, I like drawing that. So, so you see, you know. over here we anchor our time, year and so on with things like this. Yes. It only yeah. comes around every 12 years. Mm -hmm. So you remember 12 years quite easily, yeah. right? So, in that sense, the cycle. There you go. Uh, yeah, the Arab quarters, the yeah. Haji Lane. Um, and 
This one had, you see, it's all brown. Uh, it was not yeah. on purpose. Somebody spilled latte oh. all, all <laughs> over, like ice latte all over my sketchbook. And but you now just, you have a brown sketchbook, so that's it. I ha it, it was nice, you know, it looks sunny, yeah, it yeah. looks intentional. And Coffee also, is a valid color, by the way. <laughs> I know. It is, it is. I know, I know. Uh, but, you know, who cares? You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, it gives you a, like something the, to remember. The life, you know, the, the perfect city state. Uh, yeah. This. I like the point of view, because uh, it's not, yeah. your point of view is very. You're yeah, looking unique. how you usually look at mm. people, right, when you yeah. pass them by, so yeah. I uh, uh, I like to notice these things as well, not just beautiful things. Yeah. Uh, but it tells a better story. That, yeah, exactly. Mm. It, it it gives you a more holistic story. So yeah, that's what... Um, there's a lot good. of them, of course, but... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I know. Very nice. Just, uh, maybe just flick through it. I love the, the color. City. I think one of those I was sketching with you, no? Uh, this one maybe. Yes, that actually. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, that was a sketch. There was, was, a, there was an urban sketchers uh, out in, in Little India. Yeah. I was there next yeah, to you, yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 you were. That was one of the rare thing, uh, times I actually got out. <laughs> <laughs> the concerts, you know, I got the. Um, ah, the signature. The signatures of the uh, of the musicians. They will. They always excited. Yeah, it cuts both ways, yeah? music yeah. and art. I think Amazing. this uh, people scene was one of the ones that where you have like hundred people drawing. Oh, yes. Uh, I saw so that on the uh, challenge. Yeah. I didn't it's, do it it's pretty it fun. I, I actually fixed my people drawing really quickly doing that. You need a bit of uh, intensity to kind of fix it. Yeah, but it's uh, you have to draw so much, it's impossible to meet. It's like yeah, Inktober yeah. and no, nobody ever made it. <laughs> yeah, Inktober is hard. Yeah. Although so, I've done it for know, three years, so yeah. 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 The textures, the things behind, yeah. you know, I like drawing over them. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, part of the texturing. Yeah, that's uh, that's Vietnam. Mm. That's you went to Hanoi? Oh, no, that's Bangkok. Oh, Bangkok. That's Bangkok. Uh, oh, again, this page, I, I, it was raining and I was drawing with one of the Bangkok sketches and right. I dropped my sketchbook face down in the dirt. You see this? So it's, it's become like, part it's not, of the design. It's, it's not color. I had to color it. I mean... <laughs> but it's part of design now, huh? And now memory. Now it's part of design and which memory. Which is more important, memory. Yeah. Memory, yeah. yeah. So yeah. That, that went face down in the puddle and yeah. I lost the pen and I spent like half a day looking for Lamy pen in Bangkok. Oh, I see. <laughs> it was not quite nice. hard to you find. You should be able to find it. They have enough supply shop there. Bangkok. You'd be surprised. Oh, really? I was looking for ink as well, you know? Yeah, like you can Um... You Not two years ago, it was a little know, hard. Okay. Yeah, it was a little hard. So yeah, that's... Very, very um, nice. I like the contrast, huh? the deep, deep dark and the mm -hmm. slight brown. Very, very lovely. Yeah, I like, I like these little schematics, you know. This probably yeah, yeah. a bit of me being a designer, you know, just yeah, do yeah. little schematics. It looks a like product design sort of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very good. Yeah. So yeah, lovely. that's the last one. And some artifacts, yeah. you know, Chris knife. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that.